Three years ago I did several videos on these TP-Link Powerline adapters and I did a few tests to see if I could get my internet from the house into this outbuilding, my man cave. And the tests were quite successful and I was very impressed with these devices. Now this is the 2000 megabits per second rated power line adapter, so it's one of the, the big boys. It's, it's up there with the, the very fastest of the uh, power line adapters. But to this day, I still get a lot of comments asking me what is the maximum speed, the full transfer speed between these two power, power line adapters, because obviously you need two, one uh, as a sender and one as a receiver. So rather than keep replying to these comments, I'm just gonna do a video uh, showcasing the speed of uh, these adapters. I'm going to show you the speed of a file transfer from my wired network from my house to the man cave which is a good probably a good 70 feet worth of cabling and then I'm going to do a test um, from room to room using the power line adapter because a lot of people would just want to get it from maybe one to two rooms and then I'm going to do a third test and that's from the house to this outbuilding and that's going to be sort of like a long range test. So uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so this is the first test. This is a file transfer from my NAS drive in the main building using the wired connection. So here we go. So as you can see, we're pretty much around 112, 113 megabytes per second. So we're effectively maxing out the uh, gigabit network. So with that in mind, let's do a test with the power line adapters. Okay, so from room to room, we have the power line adapter there, and then it literally just goes into here and there we go so not very far to travel at all okay so this is the same file it's the second test and this is from room to room using the power line adapters okay so instantly we can see a bit of a difference there this is room to room and we're getting around well, it looks like it's going upwards. Hopefully we'll reach 30 megabytes per second. But it seems to be, yes, 31. So around 31 megabytes per second. So the NAS drive is connected into this gigabit switch here, which is then in turn connected to the 2000 megabits per second TP-Link power line adapter. It goes into the electricity box up there and it goes out of the house and say hello to the dog. Hello doggy. It goes out of the house. Into this main switch box here. It then gets routed all the way through. Well, have a quick look at my obsession with remote control cars. I'm sure you're not interested in that. And then it goes into the man cave and is somewhere under there. I think you can just about make it out. So that's how far it has to travel. Okay, this is test free from all the way inside the house into this outbuilding. Let's give it a go. Okay, so that is quite the difference there. So we're looking at around four megabytes per second. Uh, with any luck, it will creep up to five any moment. Well, there we go. Test from the wired network, 110, 112 megabytes per second. Then from room to room, around 35 megabytes per second. And then from the house out into this uh, outbuilding, all on the same uh, mains network, um, we're down to four and a half megabytes per second. 
So it is a very good solution. I still highly recommend the power line adapters, but if you're like myself and you need to transfer large volumes of large files, wired is the way to go. If you're just looking to get the internet from one room to another, then uh, they are a very uh, good product. So there we go. Hopefully that answers the questions of how fast a power line adapter is if you try to max them out.